Animal welfare is a top priority for veal farmers of Ontario. As part of the training offered by VFO to help producers continually enhance their husbandry practices, this video will provide information on performing animal welfare assessments on your farm. In this video, Jennifer Woods, a professional animal welfare assessor, walks through the barns. However, producers can perform assessments themselves or with their herd veterinarian. A lot of my focus, like I said earlier, is on the animals themselves, so that's really what I want to see because Alrighty. that's who tells you more about their welfare than anything. Alrighty. The housing portion of the assessment looks at aspects such as space allowance, ventilation, lighting, and cleanliness. One of the things that's really nice in here is the lighting. Right. So the lighting's very, very good in here and it really allows you and how the animals set and stuff, you get a, you're really able to inspect. What standards do you follow for spacing on your pens? They have plenty of room in here, the animals do, so, but what are your guidelines? We built the barn based on what the code said and then above and beyond the amount of space that they needed. So based on codes, plus a little. Plus a little. Perfect. And then you put the slatted floors in. That's right. And there's a, a rubber coating on top. Okay. And then there's in-floor heat underneath them. That's a very positive thing, that in-floor heating. That's where yeah. they get, people don't realize the ground is where a lot of that environmental comes from. If it's cold or hot, it is from there. You have plenty of bunk space, so bunk space is, is a non-issue here too. Sick animals may have decreased welfare. Daily observation and quick identification and treatment of sick animals are key parts of ensuring animal health and welfare. Usually if you see them on your first check of the day, then you'll check them again and see how he is on the second check of the day. And if he's, if he's not improving, you think he needs treatment, then you'll treat him. Okay. But if he is improving, then you'll wait and you'll check him again the next morning. The overall health of your animals was good, so I didn't get anything. I know you guys are out here daily. You look at them, so you're out in your barns all the time. All your sick animals have been identified. Very impressed with your sick hospital. Veal cattle need to be transported at least one time during production, but are often transported two or three times. Minimizing stress during transportation and only transporting fit animals are important for maintaining welfare as well as productivity. Yeah, so on, on pickup at the farm, I always analyze the calf, have a look, see look for a swollen navel, for scours, uh, any sort of a gant calf, a slow calf, droopy, that, that kind of calf is going to stay on the farm for either another week or even longer until it's suitable to come to our facilities. As far as leaving our facilities, I want to make sure that the animal is going to be prepared to be in the finished barn and stay healthy and not get set back for too long or not making it. Yeah, I just want the, the calf to fit in and know that he's going to fit in when he gets to the finished facilities and take off from there. Looking at cattle themselves can tell you a lot about their welfare. Assessing behavior and adapting management to the needs of the animals promotes good welfare. Do you monitor for things like cross sucking or urine drinking and behavior things? Are yes. those things you do? Yeah. Okay. So what's your program on if you see it? What do you? If we see it, then we'll use uh, a nose clip. Or else, obviously, if it's a feeding issue and they're not getting enough milk, then they'll up their milk. Yeah, you, you might get a little bit of weaning, but okay. not typically too much. So it's not a common thing you see? Not too much. Okay. Either. You can tell when I walk through, they did not flee. That's a big thing. Those animals really could care less. We were there. They came to me, didn't move away from me, so I like seeing that. Documentation helps you track progress and make improvements on your farm. It is also important to ensure everyone on your farm is following the same policy and guidelines related to animal care. Be sure to fill out the producer and employee declaration included in your welfare assessment and ensure all employees understand the importance of following the code of practice for the care and handling of veal cattle. Very impressed with your um, all your health records and everything on the, the iPad so it's nice to see it going that way so it just makes it so much easier to get to. Taking some time to conduct the welfare assessments developed by Veal Farmers of Ontario helps producers benchmark their animal care practices and can pinpoint areas where management or housing changes would have the most positive impact on animal well-being. Performing the assessments on a regular basis can help producers constantly improve their animal care and measure the impact of enhanced management on animal welfare. For more information on performing animal welfare assessments, go to www.ontarioveal.on.ca.